presenting I Heard You Can Draw, a story for class artists everywhere. For mom and dad and all the kids out there who know what it's like to be the class artist. We all have something that we really like to do. It could be sports, reading, or dance, to name just a few. As for me, my talent was that I could draw. I would sketch how I felt and everything that I saw. One day in class, I could not concentrate. I drew a picture that Mrs. Earl had to confiscate. She held up my drawing in front of the class and said, If you draw while I talk, you will not pass. She placed my drawing face down on her chair, but the whole class had seen it, and my story starts there. After lunch, a boy came over and said, I heard you can draw. Will you make me a monster's head? When I gave him the drawing, he thought it was cool. He showed it to everyone in the entire school. Later, a girl said, please draw my cat. So I drew him no problem. He was orange and fat. I kept drawing pictures for everyone I knew, and people I didn't know, and even teachers, too. They asked me to draw them all kinds of strange things, like spaceships in the rain and unicorns with wings, some wanted jets that fly really far, and a porcupine driving a blue race car. I was drawing a princess for someone when I cried. Something is wrong. I think my hand died. I went to the nurse, who looked sad when I said, Please help me, Miss Love. My drawing hand is dead. All she said was, Don't draw the things that everyone asks for. Draw what you want. That's it. Nothing more. I said, Draw with a dead hand. How could this be? Just take my advice. Trust me, you'll see. At home that night, I couldn't smile or eat. And even worse, I couldn't draw. I felt so incomplete. I remembered what the nurse told me to do, so with my left hand in a sigh, I used colored pencils and drew. I used the red because I felt really mad and added some blue because I also felt sad. When my fingers started to move, I smiled and thought, my drawing hand is better, and I didn't need a shot. I drew my dog and my house and thoughts that I treasure. I was drawing again. My hand was not gone forever. My hand was back, and oh, I should mention, the next day in class, I paid close attention. But someone whispered, hey, I heard your hand is alive. Draw me a bear attacking an angry beehive. I almost did, but I stopped and said, uh-oh, not again. I think my hand is dead. The end. Available on Amazon.com. Visit IHeardYouCanDraw.tumblr.com.